Hey there, everybody. How is it going? I'm test running another fucking game. Again. Again? Why am I test running another game again? May 13th. 227980. Something, something. Mel, what is it? Huh, emergency? Owen, oh, we've lost communication to the research team that landed on something. Oh no, that was the final transmission. I'm not sure. Something about a leak or a liquid seeping into something inside the ship. Do you think we're attacked? I don't know, but we can't just sit here. We'll take the A-144 that... Operation Climax! Orgasm. The plot you Rick, something right fast right now in Delta. Yes, sir! I'm counting on you! Just watch your six! May 16th, 2279. Okay, Rick, I equipped the A144 with an enhanced power drive for ice something energy. Just don't let all that extra power. Okay! Okay, I have to go. Be careful! Mel, I promise that I'll be back. Opening hangar, no floating obstructions. Your lane is clear. A144 type R something something. Good luck. Rick, please come back alive! Well, that's pretty fucking cool looking, actually. For GBA, it's the support ship Red Hercules. Phalanx, the Enforced Fighter... Yeah, Enforced Fighter A4 something something, what? A144. Yeah, cool. Test run of this game again. Again? Why am I playing this game again? Well, they released this on Super Nintendo. And then they really re released this again on Game Boy Advance. Oh, interesting. Well, you know, when they released Phalanx, originally they released it at the end of SNES's uh, lifespan. So it really didn't have a whole lot of time to flesh out, I suppose, if you want to call it that. Um, but, you know, fuck it. And uh, I'll test run it again, see how it is. Actually, it does look a lot fucking better on the Game Boy Advance, but it's already, it was already determined that in the time that hardware has advanced, that the Game Boy Advance is much more powerful than that of the SNES hardware, so that's pretty cool. And at this point, you know, the 3DS is even more powerful -er than that of the M64. You know, that one, I, I don't know how powerful that 3DS is, but it looks like it's pretty damn good. Something I'd play. I do want a 3DS, but um, for the time being, until they have that all figured out, it doesn't quite look like I'll be doing that. Because you can't quite hook up a 3DS to record video. And unfortunately, they it's like on all this stuff. It's on the 3DS, it's on the DS. And now the new uh, PS Vita is going to be the same way. So, for the time being, unless any of them release a video out, I don't quite know if I'm going to be doing them. I would love to do them. I saw uh, like a little mod you could do to the DS. Well, not a little, it was a pretty serious fucking mod you had to do to the DS where you could hook it up and output to television, but really that's going to be a mess to do. Oh, and it looks like I got hit by that shit. It seems like it was much easier to avoid in, um, on SNES. I don't know why it was, was easier to avoid, but it was easier to avoid noticeably. I don't think I got hit once by that shit on the SNES. Well, maybe I'm I'm twice as much of an idiot than last time I played. I don't know. Whatever. 
Oh, I don't have to worry about them trying to bombard me and take me down anymore. I think this is the last video I'm going to be doing for the time being, for the moment, for the evening. I think I'm going to do some tests of more other games. So, you know, more stuff will be going up. Because our as it is, this m following Monday, I'm going to have 10 videos going up. So that's cool. That's going to be a little more than I was... At least 10 videos. I'm going to have more than 10 videos at this point. Maybe 15 it looks like. But that'll be cool. It puts me that much closer to having... Uh, 400 videos on my channel. So I'm most left definitely hitting 400 in this next week. Uh, and if you see this video, possibly I'm going to have much more than 400. If, whenever it's viewed, so... Cool. Whatever. Oh, I like this weapon a lot more. This, this sure takes this boss enemy down a lot sooner. A lot quicker. It just right, eats right through him. Shit. Oh, and this ain't even the fucking boss, either. This is like a mid-boss, an interval boss, whatever the fuck you want to call this fucker. But this is a decent weapon. I like this weapon right here. It just makes quick work of all the enemies, pretty much. But from the looks of it, I highly doubt that I will be doing a full run-through of this game without cheating. So... Oh, unfortunate. I know, I know. But I do like to play these games. Unfortunately, I do suck too much to do so without cheating. But, let's see, I'm trying to think, next video I want to do will be King of Fighters DX2. So that's the only thing I do, don't have up, and I haven't done that like since the beginning of the week, or at the point that this gets uploaded last week. But, hey, oh, that made fucking quick work of that boss, holy shit. Compared to when I played it on SNES, yeah, this boss is already done. Cool. Well, he's gonna be ending any moment now. Oh wait, he's done? Okay, cool. So for the time being, I want to thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, stage clear, and check out my other videos. Mission 1 complete. Uh, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye!